Greetings, Chef Foxy here. Now, I don't usually say this for fear of being a sellout, but this goddamn beautiful masterpiece right here, as well as everything else on my merch store, my merch store, God, I sound like such a fucking sellout, will be going away very soon, probably within a month. We had a good run. We, uh, I think we sold, I think we, I think we got negative sales, which is impressive considering that's impossible. But I think, I, I think it's its time. Anyway, I recently did a poll on Twitter and on my Discord to see which Lunchables you would like me to review. Wait, how many people voted? 28? Well, I, I have like over 100,000 subscribers, right? Yeah, but you suck. Yo, fuck you. So, I got them all right here. I bought six of them because they were like buy three, get three, free one. Who cares? And the winner was extra cheesy pizza, but I thought I would treat you guys a little something special and review the top three, which was the pizza, the chicken dunks, and the nachos, cheese dip, and salsa. And that's actually a lie, but fuck you. I make the rules here. Deal with it. Come on, I really want to try this. I'm like, come on. Come on, come on! There's, there's nothing there's nothing interesting about these ones. They're just crackers and cheese and a meat. They're all the same. Except this one has comes with an Oreo, and so it's the best. But. Dude, this turkey one's garbage. This doesn't even come with a fucking dessert. I just realized that. The ham in American comes with an Oreo. This, the bologna, comes with cookies. What the hell? You get skimped on the turkey one. All right, so sh look how small it is, too. Shafoxy review tip number one, buying Lunchables. Don't get the turkey one. It's bullshit. All right, Ugh. with that out of the way, we will move on over here. You like that sweet transition? Bah! 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 <laughs> Magic, yeah. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my channel? All right, should we start with the one that everybody wanted to see or the one that nobody wanted to see? I guess we'll go with the nobody. So I haven't had Lunchables since like I was a kid and I just remember loving the shit out of these things and that they were highly addicting. So. Oh boy, oh yeah, look at that shit. Damn, they give you a lot in this. So, wait, how do you do this? Cause like, grown up me doesn't want to mix the cheese and the salsa. So like, do I dip one, eat it, dip one in the cheese, eat that? Damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh boy, should, should I be in camera frame here? Look at this amazing fucking camera oh. angle, man. You guys haven't even seen quality this fucking good, dude. All right, Chef Foxy gives that a very nice. Doesn't come with a dessert, but the nachos are kind of like a in-between dessert, you know? It's not really healthy for you, and it's not really bad for you, you know? And they, they give you a lot of these things. And as an adult, my fat fingers are still able to pick these up with relative ease and dip into all the things with no issues. Official rating will do a 7.42 out of 10, definitely above average, and just, just very nice, you know? All right, next is the chicken dunks. Why am I reviewing food on my, you know what? It's not like I get paid for this shit, I'll do what I want. All right, already loving this one. I'm loving it and hating it. I'm loving it because we get not one, but two full-size Oreos to stuff into our beautiful little face. But we only get four chicken nuts. Did we, did we really eat these cold as, as kids? And this is ketchup. Ugh, it feels, it feels, it feels slimy. I mean, it's good, but it's like, it's like kind of like shitty chicken nuggets, honestly. Mm. They're not bad cold, but they'd probably be much better if they were hot. That's for sure. Mm. I don't really hungry. I'm still not all the way in the frame. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Listen, I'll release a video quality tutorial uh, in the future so you guys, too, can maximize on this amazing quality. All right, let's not eat too much. We got small stomachs over here. Oreo, take a bite of this. It's good. Can confirm proper Oreo. Nothing fishy about it. Tastes like the real thing. I, I mean, it probably is the real thing. That actually begs the question. How did the Oreo is not made by the same people that Lunchables are made, are they? How did they get the rights to use Oreos in their, their meal? Why do I care is a better question. And last but not least, the extra cheesy pizza. Now this is, oh, I didn't rate that one, sorry. Um, 6.3, one out of 10. It's above average, it's decent. The Oreos really make it. Ah, you know, I'll give it a seven. Now this one, um, I hate the most. I'll just say this right now, this one sucks. And even though I haven't had it in a while, 
I remember. When you're going to school as a kid and you gotta sit down and eat your lunch, this is a pain in the fucking ass, okay? If you don't open the sauce pack, you're right, it fucking gets everywhere, and you gotta like prepare it, and then you wanna be all neat and like spread it out evenly. It just sucks. These are just ready to eat, boom. This one sucks. It also doesn't taste anything like pizza, if I recall. But let's see if I can still do this. It's also hard to prepare like in the container itself. You know, you want like another plate to kind of like put this on, because then it just makes it easier. You can like pull it out. You know what, actually, we'll, we'll do it the hard way. We'll do it how the kids had to do it, all right? Or still have to do it <laughs> in school. This is all they got. Th this is their, their plate. Plus this kind of requires two hands, which is bullshit. There's, there's a lot of bullshit, you know? I have no way to like spread this evenly. You know, where am I supposed to set my fucking sauce packet down? And then the other problem is, I can get in here okay. You kind of need three fingers to pick up the chez. But I, dude, I cannot get my fat ass fingers in this container here for, for the cheddar. Who, who designed you? Who made this shit? Uh, I have absolutely no idea what company. Oh, <laughs> on the back it says, Oreo is a registered trademark of Mandela's International Group, used with permission. So they didn't use the Oreo with permission. I was wondering about that. What a sewage. Whoever made this, look, all three containers are actually the same in terms of shape, design, and layout. And this is the problem. This is laziness, ladies and gentlemen, because I cannot get my fingers into this cheese, okay? And whoever, whatever company this is, because I'm too lazy to actually look for it, should have known us adults would still be addicted to this shit 15 years later, okay? Um, this looks horrible. And tastes just about the same which is not like pizza at all. It's like dough with with some spiced up sauce because I added like spices and shit to the, to the sauce. This is awful. How is this guy's your favorites? How is this the top picked one? Mm. Like it's all right, but like, dude, it's just not worth, man. Not worth. We'll give this one like a five, a 5.5. It's average, okay? And everybody who voted for this one as their favorite, you're wrong. You're welcome. Have an explosion. That's right, for the first time ever, you guys get bonus meal. You're welcome, I know, I'm generous. Wait, where the hell is that other peanut butter? Aw oh, man, did we run out of the chunky peanut butter? Shit. Well, okay, half a bonus meal. I 100% invented this, nobody's ever done this before. Take your favorite peanut butter, it can be creamy, it can be whipped, it can be chunky. Like me. <laughs> Take your nearest bag of chocolate chips, dark chocolate, white chocolate, pink chocolate, I don't give a sh. Pour some of that badness in, up all in that words, what am I saying? And bam, look at that shit. Peanut butter and chocolate chips. You're welcome.